Hi, I'm Tom Romito, a board member of Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society in Cleveland, Ohio. The theme of this short video is fundraising. Now, the cost of running a nonprofit organization like Western Cuyahoga Audubon is low, but it's not cost free. And there are two kinds of fundraising that I want to stress right now. And the first is called non earned income. Non earned income is the revenue we gain through dues and non-solicited organizations. These things are automatic. They're going to happen whether we do anything special or not. And they defray the costs of things like insurances, newsletters, and, and program meetings. The other kind of fundraising that I want to mention is what I call earned income. And this is the income that we get through the hard work of three things. And one is direct asks, where I ask a member of the society <coughs> who is wealthy enough uh, to make a significant contribution to our society if I can encourage that member to do so. The second thing I'm doing is grant writing. This is the hard work of writing to organizations such as foundations to make a, a, a contribution to our organization for a special project. And the third thing we're doing is plan giving. This is the notion of encouraging members now to make bequests in their estates so that down the year, down the road, um, those benefits will come to Western Cuyahoga Audubon for all time. Now, this earned income that I've talked about has the specific benefit of defraying the costs of a consultant that we have who is doing marketing of all of our content on the internet. Now this is Betsy Merkel, who anybody in conservation in Ohio has already heard about. And one outstanding project that typifies her work is Lights Out Cleveland. She has marketed this project throughout the state and it brought in 40 volunteers <coughs> to help the Lake Erie Nature and Science Center to go downtown this fall and conduct a survey of birds who have hit the buildings during uh, when the lights are on during peak period. The outcome of this work is that Cleveland Alliance has gotten specific companies downtown to agree to turn their lights out during high collision periods so that birds will not be hurt so much. Now, as a testimony to demonstrate the benefit of this particular project and the importance of Betsy's work, Andy Jones, the curator of ornithology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History told me just recently that what Betsy is doing is very important to conservation in Ohio because she's getting the word out about important projects like Lights Out Cleveland. So thanks for listening to this important video about how an organization like Western Cuyahoga raises funds. Thanks for listening.